All right, we got uh, lots to talk about. AEW, the Dynamite show on Wednesday night had a lot going on, including. I'll tell you what, though, man. AEW, AEW had a had. I, I think that that it may have been as far as those three, the three big matches, maybe the best one, two, three. Like there have been better ma- there, there, there have been better matches on AEW. Um, although Brian Danielson and Roosh was was really, God, really good. that match was incredible. That match was really good. Six man tag was also incredible, and the MJF and Takeshi the match was was also really good. I don't know that there's been a show with a dynamite show that had three matches of that caliber. There have been shows, there have been many shows with matches of that caliber, but but three, man, I don't know. But the one thing, I mean, and it's really clear right now is man, AEW needs they need a baby face. Um, you know, and it's got to be a new baby face because it ain't going to be for them to move. It ain't going to be Danielson and it ain't going to be Moxley. Not that they're not effective or anything like that, but they need they need a new top baby face um, who is going to get people in. Because if you look at whether it's Cody Rhodes or Sami Zayn or you look at John Cena or anyone when, you know, I mean, if you look at the the people who have really um you know picked whether it's attendance whether it's television um historically you know i mean it's you know whether you know going back to steve austin and hulk hogan you know and and people like that um generally it's the hot baby face with a hot heel but the hot baby face and that's where they're that is where they're lacking i mean they they can freaking kill with match quality. I mean, I've never seen a wrestling television show in the United States with the match quality of this. Mid South never had it. Mid Atlantic was all squashes, so they never had it. Nitro had Nitro had great matches, but they never had three matches like this on a single show ever that I can recall. I mean, they you know, and when they had it, it was usually undercard guys, you know, like Billy Kidman and Juventud Guerrero and Rey Mysterio and. Those kind of guys, Eddie Guerrero, you know, not the 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 problem. You know, Nitro had the great matches with the guys that were that were not being pushed, um, so they didn't really mean as much. Whereas here, you get the guys who are being pushed having the great matches, but they are they have they are lacking in that babyface position, something fierce. Whether you know, they had a shot with MJF. You know, obviously they did the double cross on that, and MJF was great as a heel tonight, but um, they don't have the guy. And um, that's one of the reasons, um, you know, and Punk's not going to be the guy either. I know some people may say, well, Punk's coming back. Punk may come back. He will be available to come back if they want to use him in a couple of months. It's not like, uh, you know, the end of, you know, it's not like it's so far in the future. And of course, if they were to bring Punk back, that opens up a lot of other issues that uh, we can talk about another day. But, um, that's the weakness, and I don't know. There's no real easy answer to this because, um, you know, it's not like you can snap your fingers and make a great baby face. But that is, you know, I mean, if, if they've got MJF as their heel, um, he needs an opponent. And turning Jericho what, what, isn't that guy. It's got to be somebody new because these other guys have been around for, for, for years and years and years, and they've been in that position, and they're not the guy, you know, to, to be the game changer. So to you know so this is where they're going to be um until they find that guy and um you know it's you know whether it's stealing someone stealing what a terrible word whether someone where they bid really really high for a guy from wwe or they find a guy um and just say he's our guy and and go with it um which is much harder because um you know, again, these guys don't grow on trees. So anyway, I mean, that's the real, I think that's the real thing that they're missing right now. And that's why, again, you know, they don't have the, that guy to, to rally the people behind to draw the big crowds, even though, you know, their attendance is fine. They, they got a good walk up tonight. It was, it was one of the lower ones. I think tonight might have been the lowest one of the year as far as attendance went. But, um, you know, all of these shows had real bad advances of the last, you know, the once they got out of California and everything. And the what the West Coast, and um, and they did pick up at the end. It was not an embarrassingly bad crowd or anything like that, but it's still, you know, it's it's not close to what WWE's drawing. And again, you go back, you know, even even to um, May and June of last year, 
and they could draw what WWE draws, you know. Um, and right now, you know, I mean, they're not even in the same league. So that's um, that's the thing. And I don't know, you know, I know the problem. The solution's not so easy, but that's that's a big problem right now. Here is some actual commentary from Bash and Burger. I love barbecue. It's a lot of fun. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> During this match, uh, I believe uh, Bastion was uh, choking on his chicken wings. Bastion said, uh, Vince, you haven't lived up to your contract. I uh, require four or five pizzas delivered in a wheelbarrow. It was at this point that Bastion Burger demanded hot dogs. Were they delivered in a wheelbarrow, too? Yeah. That's a big hot dog. We were told Razor and Zanetti have called. It's a big wiener. <laughs> yes, Brian. Big, juicy wiener. Yes, in between two buns. <laughs> oh, you broke Vinny. <laughs> if you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, the Mad Men podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.